Hi, I'm John Corvino. You know, a number of states have passed or tried to pass bathroom bills, requiring people to use the restroom that corresponds with the sex on their birth certificate, even if that doesn't match the gender in which they live their lives. So, for example, Caitlyn Jenner would be required to use the men's room, at least until she had her birth certificate changed, which Ms. Jenner, unlike many trans people, has the resources to do. In fact, in some states, it's actually illegal to change your birth certificate. The claim is that these laws are somehow going to deter sexual predators from entering restrooms. But the laws do nothing toward that goal. Instead, they just scapegoat transgender people. Think about it. Every state already has laws prohibiting harassment and assault. If those laws are not deterring sexual predators, then laws about the right dress code for the bathroom certainly won't. And it really does end up being about the right dress code. It's not like someone is standing at the door checking birth certificates. At least, not yet. What's worse, these laws actually distract us from the real problem. They make us think like we're doing something about sexual predators, when really, we're just stoking fear at a phantom threat. But the worst part is that these laws aren't just ineffective and counterproductive. They hurt people. Being transgender is, in fact, highly correlated with crime, with being the victims of crime. You won't find trans people going into restrooms to hurt anyone. They just need to pee like everyone else. But you will find trans people being harassed, sometimes violently, in restrooms and elsewhere. These laws actually threaten their safety, as well as their basic ability to go out in public. So, if you want to fight sexual predators, great, I am right there with you, and so is the transgender community. But don't use that fight as a pretext for beating up on an already vulnerable population. It's misguided, it's counterproductive, and it's wrong.